All right, good morning, everybody. Mike Nemec here. Early grain and oil seed comments for Monday, March 23rd. To start off the week, we have a little bit of a firmer tone in the overnight session. We got wheat market up around five cents, the corn market up around two to three, the beans up seven, meal markets up around seven dollars, and the soybean oil is up around 20 points. I have to say there's probably two things that the market's going to key on to start off this week. Number one, I think that they're going to continue to maybe monitor what's going on with the foreign currencies. Dollars up, we're on the defensive. Dollar down, we're going to have a little bit of support. So we kind of latched onto that type of scenario last week, and we'll kind of monitor that early this week. And the other thing is the commitment of traders report. The commitment of traders report shows that the funds manage money has a sizable net short position in the wheat market. They got short the corn, and they also got short the soybeans, or they have been short the soybeans, maintain that position, but are long the products. So there may be a little bit if the dollar is going to be a little bit on the uh, defensive and the trade is short. I think what we're all really jiving is, is that we're going to have an important USDA report at the end of the month, quarterly stocks and prospective plantings. And we've been kind of trying to think that we'd be honing in around the $5 area for wheat, $4 for corn, and and the uh, $10 level for soybeans, and we'll see how much we want to deviate from that with the dollar and the uh, positions that the traders have going into those reports. So all in all, somewhat of a mixed start to the week. Once again, the commitment of traders report and the currency markets, probably the lead uh, topics of conversation. We'll have exports out later on this morning, and, and nothing else. We're waiting our weather here in the U.S kind of still wintry here in Chicago and continuing to monitor the harvest progress down in South America. Once again, these are my opinions, not that of ADM or ADMIS. Thank you.